Hello everyone, welcome back to Android Tips. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to fix blue screen of death in the Asus ROG Alley, which is happening for many of the users, and how we can fix this out. So, let's dive into the workaround. The first one when you're having this particular trouble with the blue screen of death on the Asus ROG Ally, what you need to do is we just need to force restart your Asus ROG Ally. That is what you have to do. To do a force restart, you can press and hold the power button over here. You can see the power button over here at the top. You can just press and hold this so that the device will be completely turned off. Once the device is turned off, you have to uh, release it for at least for 10 seconds. Then once afterwards, just uh, press and hold this once again so that the system will be booted up once again. So it is like a restarting the device. So we're just doing a normal restart. It's like a forced restart. Just you're turning off it purposefully and you're running it back. So we're giving a, a little bit of interval of time between it. So this particular forced restart did work for many users. So you can try with the forced restart. If the forced restart is not working, the next one is all about. This is what it worked for many users. So I'm recommending you guys for you can try this out. The next one is all about nothing but we have to remove the SD card from the Asus ROG Ally. For removing the SD card, we have the slot over here. So this is the slot. So you can remove the SD card from the slot. From here, you can remove it. Once you remove the SD card, I don't know how, but it worked for many users. It worked for them, so you can try this out. So just remove the SD card from your slot from the Asus ROG Ally and it worked for them. Next one is all about, we need to turn on the Asus ROG Ally afterwards, even remove this, so let me turn this on. Once you completely turn this off, what you have to do is after this is done with, the, you remove the SD card, you have tried with multiple force restart on the Asus ROG Ally. And if it is working fine, you can try with this one. And also, even if it is awkwardly happening for some users, they complain that it keeps on happening, even though it fixed for a little bit of time, but after some times around, you know, I have to say around 10 minutes, it keeps on happening for many of the users. If that is the case, you need to update the driver. So the first one, you have to log in it back to the Asus ROG Ally. So let me give the password. And once you log into this, this is what you have to do. Once you successfully log the Asus ROG Ally, I'll be showing you what you need to do. You just need to go over here. The first one, just go over here and go to the AMD software. So uh, this worked for many users, so you can try this out. You just need to go over here in the AMD software. Now from here, once you go over here in the AMD software, let me, sorry, let me maximize this. Now from here, once you go to this AMD software, you have to search for this one. And now from here, we have to go to the gear icon over here at the top. So you can see the, uh, the version of the dri driver version. So you just need to update it. So this did work out for few users as well. So this, you need to update the driver whenever only you are having this blue screen of death in an interval of time. For many users in the Reddit, they mentioned it keeps on happening for them in a half an hour interval. So if that is the case, just update the driver. So even after updating the driver, you're done with everything which I have shown over here and you're still, you're having the issue with this one. Then what you need to do is we just need to go for the next one. That is all about, you have to book an appointment with the ASUS support team and you have to talk to them you have to book an appointment with the official technicians they're going to help you guys out sometimes it might be something related to the hardware or something we don't know exactly but even for the many of the users when they did with the xt card when they removed the sd card it worked for them i found it from the reddit even i cross-checked in the other community forums it was all good so same way you have to do this and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye